Revenge films. This one time, my girlfriend, who I'd been dating for a year, had to get surgery for some of her underlying conditions. It wasn't a complicated procedure, so she was going to be worked on two days after hospitalization, and be in the hospital for about a week after that, until she was ready to leave. I visited her the day after the surgery. Thanks for coming. I'm so happy you could make it. She greeted me with a smile, and I was happy that she looked better. She was supposed to leave on Monday, but I thought she would be excited if I surprised her the day before with some pastries that she loved. There weren't any other patients in her room, so I figured I'd just see her face and leave if she was asleep. If she was awake, I could see her smile, which would have been a successful surprise. I was imagining her smile as I walked up to her room, when I heard a noise from inside. It sounded like creaking sounds coming from her bed, and it also sounded like someone having sex. I couldn't believe what I was hearing, but there was no doubt that it was my girlfriend's voice. I have heard it many times before, so there was no mistaking it. This can't be! I was scared to see what was on the other side of the curtain, but as I got closer, it was even more obvious that they were having sex on the other side. I remembered the last time I visited her. She said, There's this really hot dude who just came in. She was laughing about it back then, but I imagined the worst. Neither one of them noticed me walking up. They were really getting it on. I heard you have a boyfriend, I heard, to which she replied, I don't care about him. In between the moans of pleasure, I had mixed feelings of shock and anger, and I was in panic mode, but I built up my courage to sneak up and wait for the right moment. Right as I could hear them peeking, I blasted open the curtains. Oh, hello there. Sorry to bother you. They noticed my fake smile and were speechless as they laid there together. The boyfriend quickly said, Who, who are you? He seemed panicked. Before he could run away, I said to him, This is a hospital. Don't you know you're supposed to be quiet? As I held him down, my girlfriend just watched us speechless. You could tell by her expression that she was caught red-handed. She noticed the box of pastries that I had with me and realized the situation. She started crying in her sheets, but it was too late for me. I heard what she was telling the guy earlier. I just gave her a cold look and said, I don't want to ever see you again. You better not try and call either. And I left the hospital. I never got a call that day. But the next day, she called my parents. My mother, who was clueless, said to me, Hey, do you look old today? Jill had been over to my house often and was close with my mother, who was an outgoing person. She probably called my mom because she knew I wouldn't pick up. Normally I would, but I wasn't ready to talk to her yet. I just told my mother not to worry about it, and I left it be. I continued to ignore her, but she kept calling every night, and my mother was starting to get worried. So one day I picked up and told her, We have nothing to talk about! And she said, No, please, hear me out! She seemed desperate. Only if it's in front of both our parents! I said, knowing that she couldn't agree to that. But I was surprised when she said, Can we leave my parents out of it? I'll talk with your parents, though. I was surprised that she agreed, but thinking it was best that we finished this, I accepted. I'm bringing Jill over tonight. We need to talk, I told my mom, and my clueless parents seemed excited. That night, Jill came over. Good evening, Jill. How are you? My mother was welcoming as usual. Jill, on the other hand, had an awkward look on her face as she stepped inside. Take a seat, you two. So, what is it that you wanted to talk about? My parents looked excited, but Jill was silent, so I broke the ice. I've decided to break up with Jill. No! Listen to me, please! My parents seemed awestruck. I expected that reaction, and just continued. Who was that guy? Just a guy who was staying in the same room. Well, I think I deserve more of an explanation than that. My parents were listening, looking confused. Are you telling me that you were cheating on me with some dude that you barely even know? My parents were surprised to hear those words. No, I know his name, but he said he's married. So, you were cheating on me with a married man? Hearing that made me even more disappointed in her. I could see my parents' expressions change to disbelief. Do you understand what you did? That's worse than cheating with an unmarried man, you know? How do you expect me not to break up with you? No, I don't want to break up. Please, forgive me. It was enough that she cheated on me, but the other guy was married. That just made it worse. My girlfriend kept begging for forgiveness when my mother asked her, Explain to me what's going on. I could hear her voice trembling. I hate to have to tell my parents these things. But I calmed myself down and explained everything that happened. The other day, when I visited her at the hospital, she was sleeping with another guy. My parents were shocked. I can see why. But you're the one I love, Jack. 
I had no trust left for this girl who had the nerves to cheat on me and tell me that she loved me. So I asked her, If you were to get pregnant right now, would you even know whose baby it was? Could you look at my parents and tell them that it was their grandchild? And that's when she said something unbelievable. It was just one time. Why can't you forgive me for that? It was unbelievable that she could say such a thing in front of my parents. But she didn't stop there. It was just a game to me. My mother had had enough. Get the hell out of my house! She yelled. My mother, who was quiet till a moment earlier, started to yell, and it caught me off guard. I just sat there and stared at her for a minute. My father sat there, awkwardly. I guess recently, my father had been accused of cheating. A famous slut who lived in the neighborhood had had her eyes on him, probably because my dad made a fair amount of money. I heard he had a hard time brushing her off. My dad didn't do anything wrong, but I guess he was a little sensitive to words like cheating at the moment, and he sat there scratching his head. My girlfriend wouldn't stop, and things were getting out of hand. So I called her mom to come pick her up. After a while, she came, but she must have gotten the wrong message. You hurt my baby. You played her. She said to me, she had no clue what kind of girl her daughter was. She believed that I was her first boyfriend. My mom had calmed down while we were waiting for Jill's mom, but exploded after hearing all the accusations towards me, and yelled at Jill's mother. It was my son who was hurt, you bitch and went on to explain to her how I had gone to the hospital to run into her daughter sleeping with another man. Jill's mother listened in disbelief. They're lying, right? You wouldn't do such a thing, would you? She asked. Jill must have just snapped, because she replied, I've slept with ten guys already. She almost looked proud, too. That was five more than even I had heard. Her mother went red with embarrassment. I'm so sorry for what Jill did to you. She apologized and grabbed Jill by the neck and took her home. I could hear my mother sigh in the silent room. Well, at least you guys weren't married yet, right, honey? She looked over for agreement. Yeah, your mother's right. He had no choice but to agree. For a while after that, Jill kept calling and stalking me, so I filed a complaint to the police. The guy she cheated on me with was caught by his wife, and Jill's parents disowned her. She works now to pay for the consolation. After that, I studied hard and have followed in my father's footsteps. My girlfriend was on good terms with my parents, and I saw us getting married. So honestly, I was really shocked. But eventually I was able to meet somebody new, and now I'm married to my wonderful and supportive wife. I can laugh about it now, but looking back, I was probably just being played for my money. Like my parents said, I'm glad this happened before we got married. She is, after all, the type of person who thinks sex is just a game. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.